So let's take a look at the build spec YAML file, which is the most important thing you need to know about code build. You need to know this inside and out uh, and uh, definitely get some hands-on experience with this because it's super important. So the build spec provides the build instructions. The build spec YAML needs to be at the root of your project folder. And here I have an example, and this is actually the one we use on exam pro. So we have a Ruby on rails application. Uh, and so we don't use all the stages, but you generally use pretty much everything. Um, and so let's walk through it. So the first thing we need to define is the version uh, of the build spec. And so there's 0.1 and 0.2 and 0.2 is what is generally recommended. And if you want to know the difference, uh, I don't think it's show up on the exam, but it's good to know. And this affects the default shell in the build environment. So uh, 0.1 runs each build command in a separate instance, where 0.2 runs all build commands in the same instance build environment. Um, so this is important because it tells you, you know, uh, what uh, information is gonna get shared into uh, to the next command. Um, so, you know, that changes the way you're gonna write uh, that file. Um, so the next thing are phases. So phases are the commands that run during each phase of the build, and there is a very specific order that they go through. The first is install. So this is only for installing packages in the build environment. Um, then the next one is pre-build. So these are commands that run before uh, building. Then you have build. So these are commands that you run during the build. Then you have post-build. These are commands you run after the build. So they're pretty straightforward in terms of their uh, definitions. The only thing that's not clear is actually at what step does the source code get pulled. Um, I think it is after the install step. So that is a step that is not uh, very clear there, but you know it's not that important uh, for the exam. But you should know these different um, uh, build phases. And then the last thing there is artifacts. So we're not showing um, that here in this document, but you can configure the artifact uh, to build somewhere else. So if you wanted, there's like a default place where that build artifact goes, but if you wanted to specify the S3 output, you could do so in here. And again, uh, artifacts are just um, the results um, that are in a zip that go to S3. So there you go.